All right, we've got Scott Power with us with Prosper Trading Academy, Garrett Kalpbaum and Melissa Arma. Uh, Melissa, uh, individuals, when they hear uh, reports like this that come out, uh, as you remind me, they also know how much they've gained if they've been in this market, even just since the beginning of this year. What do you tell them? Well, honestly, we're up since the beginning of the year still. If you look at the open of the year, even today, into today's close, we are still up in the year. We still have a gain. And the market is still an uptrend. But remember back in May, I told you, I didn't think this trade war was over by a long shot. And I don't want you to freak out here, but I'm going to tell you right now, I wouldn't be surprised if a deal does not get done until 2024, five years from now. Wow. It might be the last thing that, that Trump does if he gets reelected. And I'm not even kidding you. And you can see that today. You can see what's happening. The a Trump administration is going to be upset by what happened today. Those tariffs are probably going to be put in, on in September. And when you think about it, because they devalue their currency, all the companies that are manufactured in China, now it's costing them less because they've devalued the currency, even though they're paying the tariffs. And you got to remember, when the goods come in, they come over on the boat. And when they come in from China into the U.S., there's an invoice that goes, it's from U.S. Customs, and that invoice is paid by ABC Corporation. It's not paid by consumers, but then the corporations can put it on the consumers. And so we're going to have to see really how this transpires. But the longer it goes on, there's a chance that it will be put on by consumers. Well, Gary, that is the fear, right? I mean, as many of these companies and distributors that Melissa talks about try to absorb the body blows of these tariffs and help, in fact, buy the Chinese doing what they're doing with their currency, that can only get you so far, right? Uh, Peter Navarro says that's wrong, but uh, no doubt it's right. Look, I think the big story here is not just the tariffs. I think the big story is the back and forth on the tariffs, that the market sits and waits and hears something, and then it changes. And I think the markets were set up to correct a little bit, but I think this really you know, lit it up. And I have to tell you, since the news came out, the Dow is down 1,450 points. Apple is down $115 billion of wealth. So if he was determined to do something that would work, uh, we just lost trillions of dollars of the wealth effect because of markets, and I got a sneaking suspicion uh, there's probably more to come, and I have a sneaking suspicion the president may have to pivot again, and I have a sneaking suspicion that the Fed uh, is on big-time watch here, and I suspect maybe an intra-meeting cut uh, sooner rather than later if this continues. So you'd have a cut before the next planned meeting in September, if you're right. Oh, uh, if the market keeps going down, absolutely, because I think they're market people, not economy. You know, um, let me ask uh, you about that, Scott. Uh, I noticed J.P. Morgan, the big financial firm, what says you buy uh, on the dip. And I'm wondering if, if you subscribe to that view. This would constitute a dip. So what do you do? There's no question about that. And if you've followed that over the last, you know, five, six, seven years, you've done really well. And I don't see it really any differently right now. Maybe the steep decline has added some volatility. Maybe there's a bit more risk into doing that this time. But I really think that the bears who have taken hold here over the last, you know, few weeks, last month or so, they, they I think they really better watch out because just as we were a tweet away from the 1400 point drop that we've seen over the last week, we're probably a tweet away at seeing much of that recovering on the upside. I don't know that that's going to happen. However, I really do think that the pain that the U.S. is now starting to feel that maybe our administration underestimated coming from China, I think that is going to start taking effect. And like the, you know, your previous guest just said, I really believe we're going to see President Trump start to pivot a little bit just to stabilize. We know that he really wants to see the stock market stabilize. We know that he wants the Fed to cut rates even further. So I truly, truly believe we will see some positive news coming out before we see the next salvo shot across the bow here. All right, we'll see. Uh, guys, I want to thank you all very, very much. Well, what if I told you deal or no deal, uh, whether we get one or not? The die is already cast. Uh, China's going to have to live with the fact that a lot of U.S. corporations have already made plans to do a lot of stuff outside of China. And the president's going to have to live with the fact that the bang for the buck that he thought he'd get might not materialize at all, even if he gets a deal.